So yesterday was Global James Bond Day and in celebration Eon released the first poster of No Time To Die. And what can I really say about this? It's just Craig standing in front of a wall. That's it. That, that's really all there is to it. It's like they were thinking, oh shit, it's Global James Bond Day. We don't have a trailer yet. Hey guys, do we have a, a movie still that we can use? Yeah, no, no, that one looks good. Yeah, alright, just slap the logo on that. Yeah, yeah, that looks alright. Time is money, just upload it. I mean, does this even look like a movie poster to any of you? I know the movie posters nowadays have become a lot more bland than the classic old days. I mean... Those were the days for movie posters. Live and let die, a few to a kill, Moonraker, oh, no, no, those were awesome posters. They really had this one element featured all over them, ah, oh, what's it called, uh, oh yeah, effort. I mean, look at this fan poster of No Time to Die. Doesn't that just look so much better and with so much more thought and effort? You can tell that Jamaica is in the background, we know that the movie will be featured there too. Also, that sun, it seems like the shutters from Fleming's house. I mean, maybe I'm just seeing that, but at the very least, it gives me something to think about and look at when I see this poster. It just looks amazing. I do hope we at least get the first trailer soon. I think with the trailers, it's usually the other way around. It's the modern movies that usually have the better trailers compared to the classic Bond movies that have some really badly aged ones. From Venice to Istanbul, from Paris to London, Agent 007 cuts an inimitable path through the palaces and boudoirs of espionage. Yeah, that hasn't really aged well. Say what you want about Spectre, but at the very least, that movie had awesome trailers. This poster, it just really looks like those bland covers that they are now releasing the Bond movies in on Blu-ray and DVD. Those are all some of the blandest posters they could use. I mean, I have my own custom-made Blu-ray covers and I just use the original movie posters for each of them. You know, that's how they were intended, in my opinion. I do hope No Time to Die ends up getting a better one later. I mean, they could have also used that publicity picture of Craig walking in London. Here, you know what? Wait, give me a second. There. There you go. I already beat the original poster just by doing that. It's nothing special, but hey, come on. And what's with this wall? I mean, we don't know the context of where Bond is and what significance this wall will have, but I can't imagine there would be a good reason to feature it on this poster. It just looks ugly. Anyway, I want to be a bit positive too, so let me see. I like Craig's tuxedo. I think he's wearing a cool watch as well, but the picture is too unclear to tell. And that's pretty much it. Just my quick two cents. Maybe you guys have some more to say about it. Just uh, leave your thoughts. I hope they release the trailer this fall. I really want to start and get excited for No Time to Die, but so far, for me at least, I'm not exactly as hyped as I remember being for Skyfall and Spectre. Who knows, maybe that will follow soon. Let's just all keep hoping that they'll just blow us away in April 2020.